Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the Diamond Select Toys Star Trek Mini Mates. We're looking today at Captain Janeway and Seven of Nine. Indicated on the front of the package, it shows this is a Toys R Us exclusive. It looks like uh, Janeway does come with a perhaps a phase rifle. It's hard to see from the package due to the sticker here. She does also come with a tricorder. And of course we have Seven of Nine. On the side of the package, there's a picture of Seven of Nine. On the other side, a picture of Catherine Janeway. And then on the back, the four uh, paired sets that you can get. We've got Cisco and Vest with Gull Ducat. We had Khan and Kirk, Captain Janeway and Seven of Nine, and Hugh and Captain Picard. So far of the two sets that have spots reviewed, the Kirk and Cisco set, really impressed with what they've done in these releases. Um, I have not had a chance though to find, at least at the time that I'm shooting this review, the Picard and Hugh, but certainly if I find them, a review of those will follow as well. The read-up for Captain Janeway says Catherine Janeway took command of the USS Voyager in 2371, and her first mission sent her to a far side of the galaxy. It took seven years for the ship to make its way home from Borg-infested Delta Quadrant. Seven of nine, Annika Hansen was assimilated by the Borg at the age of six and designated seven of nine. She was, desig she was assigned to USS uh, Voyager nearly 20 years later when the Borg required assistance to defeat Species 8472. If you are interested in checking out um, everything from Diamond Select Toys, I would definitely suggest checking out www.diamondselecttoys.com. You can check out not only Mini Mates, but some of the Star Trek action figures that they're currently producing. Also, if you are a Star Trek fan, you can always check out www.startrek.com for Star Trek um, material, Star Trek material. What I am going to do is take a break. I'm going to get this open up, and when Spot comes back, we're going to have a better look at Captain Janeway and Seven of Nine. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. And as with the Kirk and Khan, Cisco and Gul Dukat sets, uh, Catherine Janeway and Seven of Nine also come with display stands, clear display stands that will allow you to display your mini mates in poses if you want to, or just having them stand, guaranteed they're not going to fall over. So you get two of those, moving those out of the way. Having a look first at Kath and Janeway, really happy with how they how uh, Janeway turned out. Now this is early Janeway, as the fact that she has bun way way up at the top going on there. Kind of had this Wilma Flintstone hairstyle going on there. But it looks a lot like Kate Mulgrew right there. No nose, but that would be a staple with Minnie Mates. She's wearing her... Well, she's wearing the Starfleet uniforms implemented at around Deep Space Nine, and then of course in the earlier Star Trek movies, Star Trek Generations had these uniforms as well. These are always my favorite uniforms of all the Star Trek uniforms. Never really liked the top gray-shouldered uh, uniforms. I always liked the colored shoulder uniforms in the all black. Um, she has what I can't quite tell what it is, and I'm trying to remember, it's been a while since I've seen Voyager, whether that is a shield modulator for fighting the Borg or if that's a communicator. Again, it's been a while, and I'm sure one of you guys can let me know down below. She does have a peg point on the waist, very similar to Cisco. That's because she has a exact same phaser that you can clip into her belt. Oops, helps if Spot lines it up correctly. Clip it into the belt like so, and she's ready for an away mission. What? She doesn't have enough firepower? Well, you can take this phaser off. And she does also come with this, which I think is just an upgraded phase rifle, like so. Um, she does also come with a tricorder, which I think is the same tricorder that came with Cisco, which you can put in her hand. Oops. <laughs> which you should be able to put into her hand, like so. And taking that off. Uh, one thing I really want to comment on is, first of all, I'm impressed with what Diamond Select is doing with these Star Trek Mini Mates. 
The other point I really wanted to make was um, I like the fact that with Star Trek Minimates, because there are so many characters using Starfleet uniforms, essentially you could take Kate Mulgrew here in Catherine Janeway and with a little bit of swapping around, you can change these into other characters. Case in point, I'm going to actually just take Catherine Janeway's head off, which I'm sure would kill her, but don't worry, Minimates don't feel pain. There we go. I'm just going to pop that head off. And coming over and grabbing Cisco. Now, granted, I think at the time that Cisco was bald and he had the goatee going on there, he wasn't wearing this Starfleet uniform. But I'm just doing this for the sake of showing you guys. Just peg that into place, like so. Obviously, swapping out the hands would be crucial as well. Boom, boom, boom. I'm showing you guys this so you guys can see that you can use your imagination when it comes to mini mates. When you get one mini mate, you have a world of different adventures you can do. And right there, you see Cisco in his original outfit, which I think again he would have used. He would have had hair at the time that this happened, but still, you get the idea. If you really wanted to, and even though I don't, I don't have them, but you know what? The fact that we also got Picard. Boom! You can even put Picard's head on there and switch out the hands. And you've got movie generations Picard. The sky's the limit. And uh, I, that's one thing I really like about Minimates is that interchangeability. I mean, the fact that you can take an existing Minimate and turn it into whatever you want it to be, really like that. Snap on Janeway's head, put on the hair once again, and of course swap the hands back out. I was about to say you could even take Kirk's head, but that might be blasphemy. Someone might say, Spot, there's no way Kirk would be wearing that. So I won't do that. But you get the idea. Also, along with Cisco, I like the fact that with the Catherine Janeway mini mate, which I think the head is on enough. There we go. I like the fact too that the they put this a little collar piece there just to elevate the collar on the uniform, that the mini mate head wasn't just sitting right above the shoulders. It's a nice small touch, but I like it quite a bit. I think Cisco was done really well. I love how they've approached Janeway here. I'm going to give Janeway an 8.5. Fantastic work on her. And by the way, a mini May articulation would be the same on her as well. She has the ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulders, which allow the arms to move in and out, back and forth, bend at the elbow, rotation at the hand, rotation at the waist, legs go forward, back, out, bend at the knee, bend at the knee and swivel out the foot. So there's Catherine Janeway. Moving along to seven of nine. The hair seems a little off, I don't know, like it's cutting off the sides of her face. But I think for the most part, she's done really well. I like the silver in her uniform. I like even the fact that they've still put that section of Borg tech on her hand, whereas the other hand doesn't have that. She does also have it on the side of her face, which is a little harder to see. And actually, you know what? I was going to say, slightly fixing the hair, bringing that up just slightly, makes it much better. I think that looks a lot better. Having it too far down... I think it cuts off a lot of those details that it should be a little higher up. There we go. Much better. Much better indeed. Oh, Jerry Ryan. Um, there's not really much to say about the detailing. It's it's silver, and then she's got a little bit of the lining, the printing going on there on the front of her, of her uh, torso. She's got the printing on the back there as well. I suppose by comparison, she doesn't have as much going for her as Catherine Janeway. But I think the face is done really nice. The eyes are done well as also. And I think they did a good choice of coloring for the hair. There's the, of course, Star Trek uh, emblem communicator. Surprisingly, I'm not as wowed as uh, by Seven of Nine as I am with the Janeway. I think the Janeway is an overall well-rounded mini-mate. The seven of nine is solid, but I don't know. It just it doesn't excite me as much. 
as the Janeway here. Uh, articulation would be the same on seven of nine as well. Same ball joint in the shoulders, ball joint in the head. The legs, of course, still go forward, back, out, bend at the knee. The legs actually move a lot easier on seven of nine as well. Get her dancing. Um, seven of nine, I'm going to give her a seven. I'm going to give her a seven. Um, overall, I think this is a great set. The beauty of, again, having Jane away is with any of the captains, of course, argument aside to whether you want to swap Kirk out, but really any of the captains that feature, are featured in these sets, you could mix and match any of these figures together. Um, again, like you could put Jane away, Janeway's head on Cisco's body. You could put, you know, Cisco's head on Janeway's body, or even Picard. Which, if I do get a Picard, I might even just do that because I love the look of Picard in Generations with this uniform. To put Captain Kirk, uh, Captain Picard's head on Janeway, I think that would be really a great uh, look. But this is a nice set. I think I like Cisco and Galdicott just a little bit more, but I still think the set it was done really, really well. Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the Diamond Select Toys Star Trek Minimates. This set featured Cap Captain Catherine Janeway and Seven of Nine. Thanks for watching, guys. Certainly stick around. Spot's got more collectible spots heading your way. See you next time.